Hello, hi. It's Thursday, which means it's time for the tea with me, Allie from Body Candy. If you haven't been here before, thank you so much for joining us. If you're a regular, thanks for coming back. We so, so appreciate you coming back to check every single week. Um, this week, we're going to talk about something that, um, I don't know, I was thinking about it today, probably because of the fact that our area is like waiting waiting to find out if we're getting shut down again. So that had me thinking about work. Um, and so just to get right into it, um, I just wanted to talk about workplace uh, environments and piercings. And is that acceptable? Um, my first point to touch on is, is there workplace discrimination against piercings? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's definitely places where that happens. Um, and depending on the the job that you're doing or the demographic of people that you're dealing with. Um, you know, sometimes, although I hate to say it, I totally get it. Um, and also keep in mind that in certain situations, it's about safety. Maybe working in a factory, it's because it could be a hazard if you got your jewelry caught on something. In the hospital, if you're doing, you know, assisting in a surgery, nobody wants to worry about whether your earring falls out. Like that stuff, let's not argue with that, okay? Um, Anything with food, I usually kind of understand, um, unfortunately. Um, and obviously, there are even more reasons. And if there's a different reason that you can't wear your piercings for your job, please email me and let me know. My email is dearally at bodycandy.com. You can submit any questions you would like there. Sometimes I answer them on the T. Sometimes I answer them on Saturday. Um, I do my best to touch on everything. And also, it lets me know what you are thinking about and you're interested in. Um, so yeah, um, to be honest, a lot of people email in and ask, should I take my piercings out for this job? Like, how do you think I should handle this? And the simple answer is, is this a job that you want to keep long term? Is it something that you're very invested in? You know, if you went to college and you have a master's degree in a position that requires you to take out your piercings, you know, maybe you should. Um, or maybe you would be more likely to consider it. Um things like that. I don't know. It's really all up to you. These are questions that are very difficult. They don't have a simple yes or no answer. Um, another big question that we get a lot is what are the most acceptable piercings? What are the ones that people have the least issue with? Um, and I would definitely say cartilage um, or belly button because they don't know it's there. Anything under here that they don't know it's there. Um, but I would definitely say as far as visible piercings go, um, your cartilage piercings are going to be a lot more accepted in most workplaces, again, unless it's for a safety issue. Um, so, you know, definitely consider that. I also feel like nose piercings are becoming a lot more acceptable than they used to be. Um, septums are really nice because you can just tuck them right up. Those are things to consider when you're getting piercings too. Maybe you have a job where they don't want you to have a facial piercing because you're in customer service. Um, and you're in contact with people that they just don't prefer, they would like you to look professional. Um, septum rings can just be tucked right up. It's very convenient. Also, if you have uh, like a nostril piercing, a lip piercing, et cetera, if you're trying to hide it at work, um, you can definitely try Bioplast or like a flesh colored stud. Um, there are options on our website for sure. So it's definitely all in how you want to handle it, how you feel about it as a human. I am very fortunate. I was going to say blessed. I'm both. I'm very fortunately blessed, blessed and fortunate, uh, that I obviously have a job where I can be modified. Um, and I am encouraged to be modified, which I know is not true for everybody. Um, but I'm here to say I've had a bunch of jobs that have all been very cool about stuff. And I've worked in offices that maybe initially were kind of in with the piercings, but it's all in how you carry yourself and don't let anybody judge you on that because that makes me mad. Just go in and be a good person. If you know your stuff, if you are nice and kind, firm hands shake, uh, look them in the eye, all that stuff, look dapper, you'll be good. Um, I like to really go in and my big move when I was younger, uh, when I was going in for a bigger job is, you know, I obviously have a sleeve um, and I used to really like prior to this one poking out a little bit, wearing a cardigan into my, um, interviews and then part of the way I would take it off like part of the way through and I obviously have had a chest tattoo since I was younger too um and just to see people 
realize that they've been talking to me for like 10 or 15 minutes and that they really liked me and then watch them try to decide how to handle it is like the best. So if you really want a good power move, I highly suggest that. Um, thank you so much for joining me. As always, we are on all of the platforms on social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We are at Body Candy. We are bodycandy.com on Snapchat. And then of course, facebook.com slash body candy, body jewelry, youtube.com slash body candy, body jewelry, and pinterest.com slash body candy. So we're all over. Don't forget Black Friday and Cyber Monday are coming. Um, so we have regular Facebook Live tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then next week, it's gonna be bumping giveaways for the monthly club, gift card giveaways. So make sure you're on all of our social media so that you see the posts that you need in order to sign up for that stuff. And also you get all the information in the scheduling. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you all very soon. Bye.